What's happening, Star Wars friends? Jesse, welcome back to the Imperial Academy. If this is your first time watching, go ahead and like, comment after the video, and subscribe to our channel. All right, guys, so right here I have the Power of the Force Darth Vader TIE Fighter. This is the box one that I have. I actually have another one that is open. I don't have the box for that, but this one I do. It is sealed. I have not opened it. So let me go ahead and get started with some uh, back uh, history of Darth Vader and his ship. So like I said, this Darth Vader advanced TIE fighter ship, um, the ship itself holds one person. In real life, if you had a Darth Vader ship, it would be 9.2 meters. 9.2 meters is 30 feet in real life. So it, um, the ship itself has um, dual position blasters with two missiles, as you can see on the box. But you don't see that, you see the blasters in, um, the movie but he doesn't shoot any missiles or anything like that uh, in the movie so the date stamp of this was 1997 and that's when I bought it the retail price was 1999 I mean that's why I, I think that's why I bought it for because I think it was 1999 or it was a few dollars less I think it was on sale but either way $20 is $20 it, it's a really cool ship um, to have in your collection so let me go ahead and turn it here we go so here is the side of the box with launching laser cannons and here is the other side I always love the artwork on this and a lot of you guys know who follow me on uh, Instagram. Oh, 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 here's the price. Here's the price. Now I know why I bought it. And it was on sale too. Let's zoom in. It was regular price at Target. And I bought it for $6.94. Yeah, because this is an old Target tag from back in the day. Six dollars and ninety-four cents that I bought it for. Um, I always wanted the ships when I was collecting Power of the Force uh, stuff, and then when I seen the ship on sale, that's I had to had it, had to have it. Sorry. So let me go ahead and show you guys the actual toy itself. All right, so here is a ship. I do not have the missiles. The top opens. These come off. I'll show you guys in a bit. All right, so like I was going to say, um, some back history real quick of uh, Vader and this ship. So when the Death Star was blown up, obviously you see uh, Vader spinning out of control in space. Um, once Han Solo um, shot down one of the TIE Fighters, that TIE Fighter bounced off onto vader ship and it had them spinning so there's two stories and i stick with the expanded universe one and that's before disney buying uh you know star wars so when vader lost control of his ship and then he gained control he landed on a planet now on that planet he went out to go look for um any imperial um ships or anything like that and he actually ran into the only uh imperial communication center and then from there they you know obviously it's vader they hooked them up with the ship and they took them you know back to the uh, empire now the second story which is i don't care for it's uh darth vader as soon as he was um hit he was recovered by two imperial pilots sienna re and barris sai Say, S A I. I don't know how you would pronounce it. Say, Sai, I guess. Uh, anyways, so that I'm not sure what comic or book is that from. So I, like I said, I stick to the expanded universe. Uh, those comics and those books to me, that's Star Wars. So, in you know, in, in retrospect, if you had this ship in real life, you would have uh, this ship comes with two ion engines. It had a hyperdrive, shielding, targeting computer, a navigation computer, 
deflector shield generator, and a life support system. So let's say Vader got stuck in space or on another planet and the planet had methane gas. He'll be able to live in his um, TIE fighter for a certain amount of period because you can recycle the breathable air into the uh, ship, which is cool. So if the air is polluted, you can stay in your ship and you'll be safe because the oxygen in the ship is being recycled. Talk about, you know, cool ships. So here we go. Let's get it a little bit closer. There's a ship. Now on the bottom and the back, you see here, if you push it forward, no blasters. Back, you have your blasters. It's a really cool ship to have. I love, I adore this ship. I have it uh, against my um, amp, my guitar amp. So like I said, the wings come off. If you can find this ship um, at a reasonable price, I say pick it up. I love all Power of the Force stuff. And once um, I'm able to go out and, you know, buy stuff again, I am actually wanting to just focus on the uh, Power of the Force figures. So, now like I said, it comes with the cockpit. I do have some figures here and let's see if these figures fit. So we're talking about Power of the Force figure. Well, maybe two of them are Power of the Force. Three of them are Power of the Force. The first one is a buff Darth Vader. All right, so we all know this dude is hard to fit anywhere. Um, I don't know how in the hell he's supposed to fit in there. He doesn't. So what we have to do is Take off the cape, bend the legs. There you go. He fits. Let's take a look. So he fits. Let's try Boba Fett, Power of the Force. Well, kind of awkward because he has a piece in the back for his jet pack right there. Let's go with episode 7, Advanced TIE Fighter Pilot. Not bad, not bad. A little too small for it. On there's inside, here, let's move them out. Inside Vader's ship. There's the X-Wing. Let me go ahead and turn around. I forgot about that. Targeting the X-Wing controls. All right. Let's see here. Let's see what other uh, figures I have. TIE Fighter Pilot. Power of the Force. Now with, with the TIE Fighter Pilots, ah, he fits pretty good. See, this is what I mean. The original TIE Fighter ships, they, uh, don't, any, they don't have any life support system on their ship. So that's why they have these uh, little breathers here is help them uh, survive, but they won't survive, you know, uh, that long. So let's have here another Vader. All right, let's see here. With this cape, kind of snug. Let's do that. Yeah, let's see here. Well, it fits. There he is. What a lovely ship. All right, guys. So that's my Darth Vader TIE Fighter ship. Advanced TIE Fighter ship. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Did you have this ship? Um, what other Power of the Force ships do you have? Are you a Power of the Force fanatic like me? All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Be safe and be careful. May the force be with you all.